Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Boys and girls, we are doing a uh, trailer ownership overview for you today. Um, a couple of things to go over on what to expect uh, when you're trying to make these things work. It's um, it's a little different. Uh, comparatively, this is kind of a game changer in the cargo aspect because you can do a whole ton more, um, a whole ton more things with the cargo via creating more cargo and where it goes to and from and so on and so forth. So. Um, I'm not wearing my HFG shirt, by the way, but I am wearing my Powered by Pizza shirt, which is also very important to life. Um, so I'm going to, uh, I spent way too many hours trying to figure out how to make the um, Z plate ownable. Uh, so I will show you that now. Uh, actually, it is in here. Wow, having some trouble today, that's for sure. That's ATS, okay, so it's got to be this one. Alright, so that's our project directory, and then we're going to go over here. And then we're going to go over here. Okay. So, let's uh, import this. I'll show you what um, kind of what you should be looking for and how you should be separating your 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 truck uh, your your truck your trailer. So <clears throat> what you'll notice first is uh, normally this is material unit vehicle and then under vehicle it's just it used to be just trailer. Now it's trailer underscore owned. This is where you're going to store all the information um, for your own trailer. Uh, via model stuff, so um, the chassis, the body, the accessories, um, all of those various and sundry items. Um, so obviously you can see I have it in Z underscore plate just like it used to be, but now there's also this upgrade folder. So under Z plate you'll see there's the shadow and the uh, chassis file. I had a rear axle chassis file which I haven't addressed yet but in the meantime I just have the standard one that's available now. So when we open this here there are a couple of changes. Obviously you'll see it's just the chassis and it's not the whole trailer which obviously is important. However um, it's not just that. So here is, put it in material mode, turn off, back face, hide that. Okay, so now you'll see this is just like the tail lights, you know, um, the nodes for the wheels, because this is essentially where you put your chassis information, like if you were going to have a multi-wheel uh, multi-axle configuration here. So this is where you are going to put most of your nodes, if not all of them in this case. So a couple of things you have to do. So in order to make it ownable, the only way to do that is to create the body node. Okay, it's going to give you an error otherwise. If you do not create this node, it will not work. The whole trailer can be here so you can you can make this entire trailer except for maybe the accessories all right here so like if you just wanted to add accessories to this trailer and not change the configuration of the axles or whatever the body you'd still need this node but you could have everything in here if you understand what I'm saying. So the side panels and the roof and everything and the doors. 
Um, in this case, I separated it fully just to mimic what SCS is doing. Um, so you need a body node. You don't need anything else unless you want accessories, but you need a body node. It will, it will crash if you don't have this and or not allow you to add accessories. All right, so there's number one, front body. This is the front of the body. In this case, my trailer does not have anything on the front. It is just the body altogether. This is for like when you're using the SCS trailers, they'll have like a chrome front or for the reefer, you can change the, the reefer type here, stuff like that. All right, so if I leave the node here, or if I leave the cursor there, I'll import the, the rest of the trailer so you can see what I'm, what I'm getting after here. So if you go to upgrade and then body and then Z plate, so that's how I've separated it, just like a truck. Body, Z plate, Z body. So we're gonna import this. Um, so this is gonna include one specific node that's also very important, which you would also put into the chassis um, PMD if you weren't going to create paint jobs and the whole blah 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 stuff. So, <clears throat> excuse me, here we have the Z body. Now this node, which is the cargo, that is the important node for the body. Um, again, if you don't in if you don't separate these two, you're going to need the cargo node in the uh, chassis PMD. Otherwise, it also will not pick up cargo, uh, which is kind of useless. Otherwise, you're just dragging around an empty trailer all day. So you definitely want to get that going. Um, let's get rid of these collisions and it's truck paint so let's do that and that and that is that the shade yeah shadow hide that Okay, cool. So this is what the trailer looks like. Um, in addition, in the chassis folder, which again is everything down here, it's not including the body in this particular one, you're gonna have markers. So those are on this trailer, markers here on the corner, front corners. Um, I left the blinkers those will stay um, and then the side lights on the back and the top lights up here as you can see there's just the the shadow from the uh, AO bake additionally you're gonna have the rear banner in case you have a wide load long load long trailer whatever you're gonna have the rear body that's in case you wanted to change the, what the door configuration looks like Again, these specifically are not required. It's only the body and the cargo that you do need for these to work as owned trailers. Otherwise, you won't be able to get any cargo and you also will not be able to buy the trailer because it will crash without the body node. Um, in this case, I have the rear body, the rear bumper. As you can see, there's no bumper here. Thought about changing the bumper configuration, maybe adding lights, whatever. So I separated that. Mud flaps, those are also not on here, so you can put different mud flaps on there if you so desire. And that is the extent of that. Um, there's not too much else that goes on here other than, oh, these things, the front left, front right chassis markers, these two here. Um, these two specifically are the things that add the um, undercarriage spare wheel and the 
uh, wings, you know, the uh, underside wings and the arrow wing and all those things. So I added those there in case that I do come across those, I can put them on here if I'd so desired. Um, that is really the extent of what needs to be done in Blender. It's all just adding nodes in this case and or separating those items out and creating accessories for those. Um, so let's jump in the game and I'll show you kind of what that looks like. Um, also, I'm on a new I'm on a new machine. I know you can't see it because it's behind my video right now, but um, the I upgraded to a 2700x new board, new RAM. So hopefully the uh, videos will be buttery, butter smooth. So let's go to the trailer dealer. As you can see, I've added my own um, dealer up here with the HFG logo and such. So you can customize. So now you see this trailer. This is how it looks in the dealer. Everything's there. Um, you go here. It's just the the two wheels in the back here. Dry van. Obviously just the single body type and the single axle type. Uh, you can change the color. So you can add any color you want here. You can even do metallic. Um, I'll see if I can create a uh, kind of how-to on that. I haven't done it specifically yet, but I know a couple of guys that have and that I'm sure that I can get the info from. You can make it black, you can make it any color you want over here like that. You know, whatever you want to do, it's all there. Um, I haven't gotten the uh, the skin to show up for some reason. I don't know why, but I'm sure I'll get that in time. Not a big deal. But yeah, so that's what it looks like. And then you go to the accessories. Now, here I just have one mud flap it's just the ca caution wide turn mud flap here but obviously I could create more they'd be in the list there um, this specifically I don't think it even works no it's looking in the wrong directory but as you can see the mar like the marker lights that shows up so that's what puts these up here and you turn them on like that so on and in the back and it's all set up in the dealer file. I don't have anything. Let's see, that's all there as well. I don't have anything in the dealer file. I mean, I have everything in the dealer file, excuse me, to make, to build this trailer. I don't have anything. Um, I don't have any accessor any additional accessories on it, but you can see the node, the nodes are there and, and stuff like that, which was the whole purpose of, of kind of doing this right. So, um, but yeah, so, you know, in the future I'll be able to, I'll get this situated right so it's looking at the right thing. I don't, where's my errors? It doesn't come up with an error for some reason, but anyway. Um, and then the cool thing about this is, first of all, you have, uh, if you have the wheel pack, the, you can change a whole bunch of different things you can change from regular to chrome and you can um, I have a couple of I put my wheel pack in here so well not mine but um, where's the uh, no that's not what I want this one here and this like that and that I love how the defaults work they don't work at all <laughs> um, so yeah, so there's like super singles you can put on there or whatever. Um, and the other cool thing, personally, I think, is you can drop your truck on there. So whatever truck you're driving at the current time, you can you can reset this thing. You can look right around here and move the with the right click. You can drag and turn. So you can drag all the way up by looking this way, and so yeah, they did some they did some good work on the uh, on the camera stuff. So I really like that part. But yeah, so this if you haven't explored this um, 
you know, at least getting the beta and looking at the SCS trailers, they're really pretty cool. Um, and I like the fact that you can, uh, you know, do your own customizations to not only their trailers, which is nice because you can add mud flaps to their stuff. Like I could add these, these imaged mud flaps to their stuff, you know? Um, so I think that's pretty cool. And, uh, I really like how they incorporated that. Hopefully, um, it's not too hard for folks to implement. Um, you know, but in the end, uh, I'm going to show you the, uh, what this looks like. in the def files, which is, you know, can be a little daunting. So we'll go through here real quick. I don't want it to be like too in depth. If you're not, if you're not familiar with working with def files, this is going to be super duper hard for you. Okay. I'm not going to lie. This was, this took me way too long to figure out. Um, and it's literally a naming convention. It's nothing else other than that. Like, if you don't get all your names, like, just perfect, the game's like, I don't know. I don't know what you're saying. I have no idea. Um, so it's super important that you're, that you're comfortable doing getting into the down and dirty with defs. Um, so chain types, I didn't have to do this, but I made my own chain type. It's just a single chain. I just named it HFG. I don't, I didn't have to do that. Um, I just was like trying to figure anything out. And that seemed to be one of the things that I was, I was stuck on. But yeah, you don't need to do that. In this case, we did it for this, but it's fine. So similar to truck dealer, you have trailer dealer now. So HFG I've created as my trailer dealer. So every trailer that I have um, on the workshop and stuff, I'm going to put in here. Um, that way you always know where my trailers are. For the ownership part, you can just pick them right up. Off you go. Um, so in this case, I named mine HFG underscore Z plate dot 53 front. So that or F. So that's a front mounted axle like it's more forward. Um, so in here, um, you'll notice that this looks almost exactly like something you'd find in a truck folder, right? So you got your data, your chassis, your body, your markers, which we talked about the body and the markers being like nodes, especially the body. We need that markers, rear bumper, rear mud flap, trailer cables, paint job, rear tire, rear disc, rear hub, rear nuts, blah, 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 blah. So However many axles you have, you need to include that many axles here, just as you normally did. Um, also, then you're just repeating the trailer data. All of this stuff is included. I, like, I can't stress this enough, okay, guys? People come to me all the time, and they say, how do I know what the changes are? Well, I'm going to tell you. Okay, go to your folder where you've installed... American Truck Simulator, okay? In there, you're gonna find all of the .scs files that come directly from SES. So def.scs and base.scs and all those things. You're gonna go to SES's website in the modding section, the wiki, um, or the wiki, depending on who you are. You're gonna get the SES extractor, then you're gonna take the SES extractor and drag the def.scs into the extractor, okay? And it's gonna come up with all of these files, with all of these changes and all of these things. This, this whole file right here, all of this information was created by SCS. I did nothing here. This is nothing. I have changed nothing other than the name of the trailer. Like that is literally how easy this is. Do not write stuff, okay? Get Notepad++. This is what I'm using up here. You see? Let me turn this on for you. Here's my highlighter right here. Notepad++. Get this thing. Get it. Do it. Do that. Get the thing. Okay? And then once you get it, 
you're going to have this thing that looks like this. So you can just come right in here and just say, hey, I want to rename all this. Control H. I'm going to name it HFG. Uh, what's my other one? Ultra plate. Ultra plate. Boom. Replace all. It does it for you. You don't have to do anything. You see? This is the easy part. Go do that. Get these things. You know, I, I'm not, I'm like, I feel like sometimes I'm just talking and nobody really cares. But then other times people come to me and they say, thank you so much. I learned so much from your video. I did all these things and it's awesome. So those people, thank you for listening. Other people, start listening. Okay. We're back on board. I've had four hours of sleep, so you'll have to bear with me. I'm a little crazy. Anyway. So this is the dealer file, okay? So important file number one. Important file number two, trailer defs. This is HFZ, HFZ, HFG, Z plate, SII. Right here, this name, do you see this here? Trailer underscore def dot HFG dot Z plate. That has to match this. It also has to match other places, so if these two are not the same, you are never going to get this trailer to show up properly. Again, this right here is a file that I found in def.scs after I extracted it. And I copied it over, and I changed this, and I changed this, and I was done. Like, that's how easy this is, folks. Okay, it's only text. So there, there's number two. So re remember, this information here needs to match this information here. Otherwise, you're going to have a bad time. Okay? Now, trailer owned. Here is where you would find your truck file. So in this case, it would be uh, for a truck, a def vehicle truck, and then this would say like, Peterbilt 389 or something like that. And under here, you have, let's check this out, accessory, see, just like the truck, right? Chassis, etc. paint job, so on. Okay, so, again, HFGZ plate, data, again, um, another important file, look at this, HFGZ plate, vehicle, HFGZ plate, see this? All the same. Okay, got to be the same here. HFGZ plate, got to be, got to be the same. Otherwise, you're going to be in trouble. I'm telling you that right now. So require chassis. Obviously, you need to have a chassis to make a trailer. So that's why they've done this. All right. So there's your data file. Then we're going to go to paint job. I'm going to check out Max Trans actually to see what I've done wrong. Nothing it seems. I don't understand why it's not working quite right. Suitable for. I'm going to explore for a second, if you don't mind. Uh, CH53F uh, configurations. That's not what I want. CH53F. Yeah. Don't know. Not exactly sure why that's screwed up, but either way. We'll figure that out later, not for today. All right, so data. We finished that. All right, so configurations is the other important folder. Like, literally, if you don't do these, you're never going to, nothing's ever going to happen. Um, configuration, trailer configuration, Z plate. Chain type, HFG. Here's my chassis. This is the icon. Right? And then there's a folder in here that tells you what the configuration cons should consist of. It's a dry van, like a Z plate is. It's Here's the dry van. Here we go. Icon. Here's my trailer def HFG Z plate right there again. Here we are. There it is there. Right? There it is there again. 
HFGZ plate. And then again, under here. If these three do not match, you're never going to get anywhere. This is the thing that took me three or four days to figure out. All right. This is what this is what we have to do. Um, so, sorry, the phone's going crazy. Um, now, so once we have those configurations made, then we need to make the chassis file. Again, copy and paste all in this thing. No, nothing fancy here. Just copy and paste. That's all it is. And then body. Right, so in the configuration, you'll see here's the chassis, right? So CH53F, here's CH53F. So that, now that configuration is saying, hey, I need all of this stuff okay and then the same with the dry van part that's looking for dry van 53 here's dry van 53 boom that's where it's at okay so now we've got the body and the chassis done now here's our accessories we've got a spare tire there it is you know, I think this doesn't work because they moved a whole bunch of stuff in the last update. So it's probably that's probably why it's gone. Um, they've updated like twice since I started doing this. Um, so there's our spare tire, and I also put a spare tire over here, even though I named the thing wrong. But at any rate, um, markers. Here's my markers. Right, I exported the markers to here. Here we are. Good to go. Rear bumper. There's my one rear bumper. I had the exclusive backup there just in case I wanted the fancy lights. Mud flaps. There they are. Rear body. I don't have anything in there. I didn't change the doors. And trailer cables. That's the same as it always was for the regular trailers. You just have to add this in to make those trailer, to make the airlines work and stuff. Right? That's literally all you have to do it is what let's let's look at this ready I'll tell you how many files it is minus one properties 21 files and that's not even counting the fact that you don't have to do any accessories so it'd be even less than that it would literally be these three right there and the data Okay, so it's really not daunting. It's just you got to go in and do some configuration portion, um, but you have to change the 3D model. If you're not familiar with using Blender or ZMod 3, you're going to be kind of out of luck there because it needs the body locator and the cargo locator to pick up cargo. Okay, um, there's not too much more that I can, you know, express to you about that. It's it's not going to get any not going to get any easier uh, you know I can't you can't just do it deaf wise right now I don't think they're going to change that either because it needs to know that it can hold cargo especially for the flatbed because the cargo locator tells the game where to place the load on the th on the thing so that the straps line up with the side rails and stuff like that you know so in dry van it doesn't really matter so much but the, the node still needs to be there all right, guys, so this has been the uh, kind of quick quick hitting overview. Uh, I hope it, it helps some of you, any of you, in, in getting this done for yourself. If you're uh, kind of a, a budding modder, modder uh, let me know if you uh, appreciate the video and like the video and all of those kinds of things. It's probably going to be up on Facebook and on YouTube in case you need to reference it at a later time okay guys thank you so much for the support as always peace